Kingdom blessings and greetings. I'm King David, the vessel of Yielding Music Group, inviting you to stay tuned for season six of Let's Talk to the Lord, a gospel radio talk show created and hosted by Apostle John E. Ross. Keep it locked right there. Trying to do what's right, but it Carolina's where I'm from, we bless your shit And every time I open my mouth, it's so engaging Just keep this on the low, we call it soul engaging The God we serve is so amazing Straight shot to him, but we throw amazing You say we not, I say yes you are What's the name of your God? Yes you are Where you see that in the scriptures? Don't test me bro They say righteousness is also nation Messiah Take heed, listen to this Look, he got me aim. He can't miss it. Take, taking all y'all to target practice. Who this? The one and only. I don't know about you, but everything I endeavor to do has to be approved by Christ. His will is my delight. This means my heart's desire by faith and by rights is mine. I expect the blessing to show up on time. Why does it seem like the process is slow? Suddenly I'm reminded my patience needs to grow. God's letting us know He's bridging the gap to build a bond upon this track. We're king, the rappers, these brothers, spirits are strong. And it's sad that we hardly show each other love What's more important now is Jesus is lifted up So we can bleed the blood over the ears Listen it, the hook, snap, and snare Do you near, we fishing it Ministers and messengers, servants of Christ Soldiers, drunk in the spirit But the natural man sober If you need closure, I suggest you hold on Man, wait a minute, let me finish hearing the song Hold on, wait a minute Hold on, wait a minute Hold on Wait a minute, hold on, 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 wait a minute. Just a minute, give me just a minute. Vitting all vision like my eye got upset and started spitting. Walking crooked, look at y'all tripping. Holy Spirit made my pivot like a single ditch. Homie, you the one. Man, listen, Father, Spirit, Son, ripping every sentence with my tongue like a razor blade sticking. Hold on, wait a minute. Look at what you made me do. Take the beat and kill it. Please don't forgive me. It's all these sixteens, play sixteens. Think Elohim, He can heal it. He's the realest. We speak the realness. Get about your feelings for real, G. Choice. Hey man, look, I I don't know what's happening right now, but something's in the air, bro. And I'm telling you right now, King of Music taking over real. real. Show no problem any time, I could spit a few bars But I had to hit the gym and start lifting the bar Became overweight because I guess I overweighed it As time went by, bad health escalated Because of lack of knowledge and laziness Had to get my mind right, God told me don't play with this I created your body for a purpose that's better than this But you spit inside my face, not taking care of it Nah, you need a detox, stop and start to clean up Your body is a temple, that's why I'm telling you enough Stop overeating and eating in the wrong things Moderation, portion control is what you need I think you probably forgot you are what you eat Look at what you've become, a monster it seems No self-control, this is out of control Wanna come before destruction, you gotta go Hold on, wait a minute 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 Wait a minute, hold on, wait a minute, hold on, 
Huh? We don't see music. Reppin' hard for the king. Box with the scriptures in the ring. Traded tradition for relationship. Drew Brees when I spit. Running with the saints in the end zone. Yeah, that's my click. No coat, we just family. The man is in here. Blood bought, so washed like down in your tie. Made new, real fresh, homemade apple pie. They go with shots and rocks at us when we tell them the truth. Jeez, it's the only way to empty two is to prove. Wanna argue our history and debate all this mystery. Thinking we all shallow minded like who's when it ends. Now you looking right at me like why my faith on a hundred Can't you see we his masterpiece fall in line like some buttons Hope, deal of faith, give and preach the gospel no frontin' He the judge, Uncle Phil, I'm in his will till I'm gone Spend eternity with him, new body involved We on the shame till then, listen for the trumpet to call See, Google be confusing those choosing to use it To determine if they gonna worship Jesus or Buddha, Allah, Abdullah I shout out hallelujah, cause I'm a student, I bottle the ruler I know God is just you and I am not Jewish as a servant of the most high, it's high time that I side with my God So high five if you don't mind, the ridicule of simple fools That said that there is no God and we fight for a lie Oh my, I got respect for the man that be looking for proof But I don't deal with the clown that's exploiting for loot See I live for this thing, I got the burden of truth I got the word in this truth, I'm prepared in this booth With the sword in my tooth, and in all that I do I hope I'm honoring you, as I walk in these shoes I let my passion through, so if you're passing through It'll grab you, it'll stab you like a dagger too. Come on. Hold on, wait a minute. 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 Holy and blessed greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Savior Christ Jesus. I am your gospel. Radio Apostle, Apostle John E. Ross, creator and host of this podcast, lead apostle and founder of the Omega International Prophetic Ministries, and thank you for tuning in for Season 6 of the Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio Talk Show. Kingdom, our guest for this episode of Let's Talk to the Lord is independent gospel recording artist, producer, minister, husband, and father, Gabriel Ori. Kingdom Gabriel Ori was born in Charlottesville, South Carolina, and grew up in a small town called Adams Run. Growing up his father in his father's church, he discovered his gift in music at the age of seven. Gabriel Ori, welcome to Let's Talk to the Lord. Thank you, Apostle. Great to be here. Amen. And before we begin our discussion, please share with the kingdom your repentance experience when you accepted Jesus as Savior and Lord. Well, uh, I didn't get saved in my father's church, as the introduction uh, said. My dad is a pastor, and I'm from Charleston, South Carolina. But I uh, gave my life to Christ uh, in a house in New Jersey uh, where I was uh, doing music production. Um, And it was funny because uh, I was a part of a church in New Jersey that I saw something completely different that kind of jilted my mind from what I thought church was and what I thought it meant to be saved to something completely different. And it really opened my mind up to not only uh, just being in church and things like that, but like really the word of God. Um, I gave my life to Christ in August of 2015. I'm sorry, 2005, sorry, 2005. Um, I gave my life to Christ and it was so weird. It was in my house or the house I was staying at in New Jersey um, it was kind of like a crossroads moment where I was kind of fell on my knees when I got home after from being from church and just like, God, what do you want from me? What, what do you want? What is it that do you want me to do? And right there on my knees in that house, uh, the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, Hey son, you know, I got more for you to do. You know, I was a music producer. I was doing music production in New Jersey, um, at the time. And God just kind of really confirmed uh, that he was with me in my life. And that was my conversion experience. Amen, amen, and amen again. Gabriel, please yes. announce our topic, begin our discussion, and let's go to the Word of God. 
Oh, well, thank you, Apostle. Uh, so our topic today is going to deal with something that we hold near and dear to our hearts, something that, you know, uh, subconsciously or unconsciously um, you may be aware of, may not be aware of, but it's music and the church, music in the church. And this topic is near and dear to my heart because uh, I grew up, you know, in the South, and, you know, music is a part of everything that we do. Um, I don't know if you guys really understand music is in, in television, music is in films, uh, music is everywhere we go, you know, it's sound and everything. And, and upon, like, studying this topic of music, I discovered some things that I kind of want to share, you know, with you guys. And I don't know if you knew or not, but music, uh, the term music is actually uh, a, 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 a main root word, which is muse, and a suffix that's I C. And so muse, that's where we get the term music from, muse. And muse simply means whatever inspires you to do something. That's a muse. And I wanted to start off this way just to kind of give you a backdrop so when I speak on certain things, you'll understand exactly what I'm saying. So muse, anything that can inspire you to do something. So have you ever heard the term or the, the, the phrase that, hey, man, that's my muse? That's what it means, something that inspires you to do something. Now, I see, the, the suffix I see simply means the characteristic of. That's all it means. So when you put those together, music, it means the, character, the characteristic of inspiring someone to do something. I really believe upon researching the Bible and, and my study and talking with the Lord that God created all sound. God created everything that we call music. He created it for his glory. And his purpose of muse or music is to encourage or inspire you to find who you are, your gift, your passion, and to do it. Now, you don't have to be a musician to understand musing or music. We have other words like amusement, like amusement park. See that word, root word, muse? Right? And so music, I discovered, like in church, um, I grew up in a Pentecostal church, and I played uh, four different instruments. Uh, at the age of seven, you know, I started with the guitar. Uh, I'm sorry, the drums. And then at the age of nine um, or 11, I went to the guitar. And in my church, uh, which was, you know, you could look at it kind of like a traditional church, the sound that we produce um, in that setting uh, was considered the sound of God or the sound of the kingdom. This is the sound that we want to hear. As I grew older, and like say, for instance, the guitar, um, they have, you know, they make certain things for different instruments. You know, you have pedals, you have things that can take your sound and kind of filter it out and create a new sound. But when I was growing up, if you had a sound like a distorted guitar, in my setting, it was considered like rock and roll. And it's like, hey, that's devil's music. And so that's the thing that was drilled in me. Hey, that's devil's music. You know, if you listen to anything that's not like this sound, it's considered the devil's music. But as I got older, I discovered, like, wait a minute. If God created all these things, then what did the devil create? Nothing. He doesn't create anything. He takes things and he perverts them. So we think about different genres of music and different things uh, that we might listen to, and we might associate that sound with, okay, you know, that's devil. Okay, this is God. So in order for it to be God, you've got to have a Hammond organ. You've got to have, you know, a clean guitar sound. You've got to have this. You've got to have that. And I discovered that, no, the way music works is not about the sound. It's about the one who's producing the sound meaning it's about you. The person who's creating that sound or doing that music, that's the person uh, that you have to look at that person's life. So, for instance, I'm a rapper. Now, it's very difficult, I find, in a lot of churches in the South where I'm at, um, for rap to kind of be, I don't want to say accepted, but I'm, I'm just going to say uh, – uh, 
even to be accepted, I'll just say accepted. To be accepted, like, you know, because, I mean, you have different things going on. You have, like, age, you know, so you can't, you, you shouldn't attempt to minister to someone, you know, above their heads, like, meaning if they, they didn't grow up on this, they might not know what that is. And when something's foreign to a person, they might just associate it with the devil. So you have to use some wisdom there. But what I'm saying is, in general, as a whole, rap is associated with hip-hop. Now, hip-hop, to me, is a lifestyle. So what I do, I rap. I don't do hip-hop. That's not me. That's the way you dress. That's the way you talk. That's the way you live. You know, that's the way you think. And I don't do that. I know what hip-hop is. I rap. I'm, I'm a rapper for the kingdom. And so when, when I try to identify myself to people, uh, when they say, hey, they lump me up in the genre, oh, so you rap, so you hip-hop. Like, are you Christian hip-hop? Like, no, no, I'm just kingdom, kingdom music. So back to the word muse. It's anything that inspires you to do something, right? And so now when you are living your life uh, through the word of God, through the eyes of God, right, you, you're living your life as best you can to present God, and you, you are a musician, and, and you want to do music, it's not a sin. It's not bad. It's not devil's music if you want to experiment with different sounds. And this is what I was talking about. Like, we have to kind of really understand who the creative thing is. It's not the devil, but it's God. God created music. I'm going to end it with this. Um, in the Bible, we have a story about David, you know, before he became the king. And he was, uh, he was a musician for Saul. And Saul had a problem, right? And guess where the problem came from with Saul? He, he disobeyed God. The problem was God put a distressing spirit on him. Now, who did I say put that distressing spirit on him? Not the devil. God did. And Saul would call for the musician which was David at the time, to just play. Now, here's a question I want to leave with you guys. I wonder what he played. How does it sound? I wonder what he played. How did it have the ability now? Because God put this distressing spirit on Saul. How did it have the ability to, when once played, drive the distressing spirit that God put on him away? This was very interesting to me. That was powerful, and it let me know that music has the power to drive away stress, to drive away depression, to drive away anything that's not like God, and to lift your spirits. That's the purpose of music. So music is powerful. It's so powerful it bypasses your brain's defense mechanisms, right? It goes straight to your subconscious. And if you're not careful, because they, you have music, you have some good. Remember, music is just neutral. It depends on who's producing that. So you have some that's good. You have some that's, that's not so good. And so uh, in my ending, I would say think about what you're listening to. Who's producing it? Where is it coming from? Is it inspiring you to go after your purpose, your gift? Is it moving you to do things, the things of God? Or is it pulling you down? I spoke to a lot of people that's in prison because I used to do prison ministry, and the music that they listened to, all this hardcore stuff, it helped them to do the things that they did that was not so good. So music is powerful, guys, and I want us to harness that power in the right way, in the right hands. And so if you don't get anything out of this, just know that music comes from the term muse, and it's anything that inspires you to do something. Hopefully it's doing the things of God because God created it for that purpose. So uh, thank you for this opportunity just to speak a little bit of my heart on music. Back to you, uh, Pastor Ross. Amen, amen, and amen again. Kingdom, our topic of discussion for this episode of Let's Talk to the Lord is music in the church. And for my segment, I will be sharing some principles from the Word of God. Kingdom music is a integral part of the church experience and the worship experience. When it's anointed, it in truly enhances the move and the presence 
of God. I am not saying that God can't move without music. The power of God can move with just our vocal instruments alone, meaning a cappella, but it's so crucial that we spend the equivalent of time with God in relationship with them, God, Jesus, and God the Holy Spirit, that we spend practicing lessons and rehearsing. It's imperative for real church flow. So I'm going old school. When if you weren't holy, you could not sing in the choir. As a musician, repentance is as important as playing in the right key. Kingdom, when it comes to the differences between church and secular music, Jesus, he is and makes the difference. And the reason why I must say this is because it's the anointing of God, the oil of God, the power of God that flows through you and your instruments, your compositions, your writings, and it's imperative that we have repented and in God's word and in relationship with God. Again, I say this because we are in a season when we record our CDs, our worship projects, our church services, that we have the anointing, especially as we continue taking steps to the end times with so much evil, sicknesses, hurting people. It's so crucial that we get us out of the way, get our flesh out of the way, get the spirit of entertainment out of the way, and traditions out of the way, and allow God to move by his spirit. Why? Because in that reign of the Holy Spirit, just like in the natural reign that waters the earth, the crops, the grass, the vegetation, we humans drink from it, animals drink from it, and it has nutrients with life and health for our natural bodies are in it. And likewise, the presence of God through the operations of the Holy Spirit does the same thing for our spiritual man, our souls, and again, our natural man, because there is healing for our natural bodies, healing for our mind. He crushes demonic forces, and salvation is poured out. Conviction is poured out. Restoration is poured out. A word of prophecy comes forth, so we have to stop rushing through or switching to our favorite religious traditions and allow God to work and move by his spirit, because that is what changes the heart of man and the stubborn and the stony heart of man. And I know you do not want to be responsible for someone missing their deliverance or healing because you were too lifted up into your pride and flesh to obey God. Kingdom, the role of church music in worship is biblical because after escaping from Egypt, crossing the Red Sea, the people sang unto the Lord. Singing was a part of Israel's formal worship in both tabernacle and temple. First Chronicles 6, 31 and 32 and 16 and 42. And the book of Psalms bear rich testimony that in joy and sorrow, in praise, in lament, the faithful raise their voices and instruments to God. Kingdom with relationship comes discernment and care in planning and implementing the church ministry for the church. The Holy Spirit will lead you to what to play, to sing, to teach and write, and who to have lead the song. Amen. Please obey him. Please allow yourself to become a vessel that God can use. Music is a gift of God and a part of the created order. Music with singing is a ministry that belongs to all the people of God. 
singing is the highest form of human expression, and the praise of God is one of the most indispensable forms of the music ministry of the church. The church's ministry of song is for the glory of God indeed. It is the art to expressing the church unity in the body of Christ. The different voices and instruments, the different parts being blended together to offer a single living and unified corporate worship unto our Lord. The church music is for the edification of God. Kingdom theology has its place in our worship. Hymns and writing hymns. It has vocabulary that is rich with biblical stories and the mighty acts of God are essential for the growth of the congregation to grow in faith of God. Kingdom, remember, pure worship is honest and in truth, not in manipulation, not in being manipulative, which is manufactured. But we must worship in spirit and in truth. Gabriel Ori, please give the final words on our topic of discussion, music in the church. Thank you, Apostle. So my final words uh, would simply be uh, look at the person, you know, uh, who's producing that music. God made that music again for a reason, for a purpose. You know, the, the entire globe, you know, we, we call it the universe. It's a verse, right, multiple, right? And, and there's a sound that's produced. It's, it's sound all around us. And we take those sounds and we put it together and we call it music because those things inspire us to go forward. And so I, 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 I admonish you to go forward in whatever it is that God calls you to do, you know, and let the music that you do listen to uplift you uplift your spirit, your soul, uh, to push you to do those things that you, that you really wanted to do, that you, your heart's desire. You know, God is waiting on you. You know, I know we say sometimes we're waiting on God, but God has pr- provided everything that we need. And music, my friends, brothers and sisters, is a big part of that. No wonder why Satan tries to control that. He's the prince in the power of the air and everything we hear. So use your, your five senses to lift up God, you know, watch what you hear, um, and let God, through his music, inspire you and encourage you. Thank you again, Apostle, for this, uh, this time and opportunity. Amen. Gabriel Ori, please introduce yourself to the kingdom. My name is uh, Gabriel Ori. I'm from Charleston, South Carolina, and I'm a musician. I'm a music producer. I'm a husband. I'm a father, uh, most of God. Most of all, I'm a child of the Most High King. I'm a kingdom citizen, and I'm here to do his, uh, his work. Amen. And what are your websites and social media so that the public can learn more about you? Oh, yeah, thank you. Um, so you can reach me. You can find me on all social media platforms, uh, Facebook, Gabriel Ori. Uh, you can find me on Twitter. Uh, is at King, uh, King G for Christ. Um, and Instagram, uh, just type in Gabriel Ori, um, and YouTube, same thing, Gabriel Ori. You can reach me uh, just like that. Just type Gabriel in, and you wouldn't go wrong, Gabriel Ori. Amen. And how may the kingdom purchase your music and support your ministry? Um, you can. My music is located on all digital platforms uh, that you can use. You can download it. You can stream it. Uh, and any streaming uh, services, um, just type in, again, Gabriel Ori, and you can reach me. You can find all my music there um, and enjoy it. Amen. And please tell us about your music that was being featured in this podcast, Wait a Minute, and this year. So it's interesting, the song Wait a Minute, again, I'm a musician, I'm a music producer as well, came uh, because music is my weapon of choice. I knew from an early start that God has me in his hands like an arrow. He has me in his bow, aim, and he aims me certain places. And so that song, Wait a Minute, came from a time uh, 
maybe a couple years back, some things were going on that was global um, with the church. And I was kind of like, wait, hold on, wait a minute. What's, you know, what are they trying to say? What's going on here? And so because I'm a musician, that when I get angry, that's how I release it, through music. And so I made that, um, and it was, it was a point of frustration. Uh, and so when you do hear that song, you'll be able to tell, like, okay, this, this guy is really introducing himself. And I had several of my uh, musician buddies, you know, artist buddies on there. And my other song uh, called, Wait a, or called This Year uh, is a song I did maybe four, four years ago or so, uh, but it's just the perfect time to release the music that I have because everything I have I, I had like a few years ago, but God, he wouldn't allow me to release it then. But now is the perfect time. So this year basically is a song I was talking about myself, really, but it's so prophetic that you can take it as a declaration for you. Um, there's a little statement in the Bible that says, weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. And basically that, what that scripture means to me is any time can be your morning time. It doesn't have to be like when you wake up in the morning. It's whenever you wake up. It could be pitch black, night, raining, storming, but whenever you wake up, that's your morning. So this year speaks to that. Hey, all the things that God has placed in you, why don't you release it this year? right? Because we're his vessels. And so he wants us to be productive in the earth. He wants us to, to use the things he gave us so that we won't rob the next generation from the things that we were supposed to release. So that's a song about releasing your potential, releasing your gifts. So there's no longer potential, but it's already actualized and realized in the earth. And that's why uh, these songs that I'm releasing now are so important for this time. So definitely, please go get that and support that uh, if you can. Amen. And the music of Gabriel Ori is in rotation on Let's Talk to the Lord Radio dot International. Kingdom Let's Talk to the Lord can be heard on Apple Podcast, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Alexa, and YouTube. You can download episodes from speaker.com under Let's Talk to the Lord. Don't forget the apostrophe S in Let's Talk to the Lord. We are live every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Central Time at KingdomInfluencersBroadcast.com and SensationalSoundsRadio.net every Saturday morning at 11 a.m. Central Time. Please write to us at Let's Talk to the Lord at Yahoo.com. Please follow us on Twitter at Ross Apostle. Please visit our website, Let's Talk to the Lord Radio dot international. Please download our app on your Play Store for your cell phones under Let's Talk to the Lord Radio. You can now ask Alexa to play Let's Talk Radio International and Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio Talk Show. We are now also on Roku. Just search Roku on your Roku search My Tuner. As you get to My Tuner, search Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio. We are on Roku. Let's Talk to the Lord Radio International is your 24 hour station for talk radio, interviews, news, and Christian music. On Amazon, order our book, Spiritual Guidance Through Alzheimer's Disease, with author Kimberly V. Porter. My music is available on Amazon and all digital stores. Lord, Give Me Another Chance, featuring Sean Scales and Tamara Lloyd, is available. And Remember Now, Thy Creator is available under the name Minister John E. Ross. So, Kingdom, until next time, may God bless you and may God keep you every day living your lives at the foot of the cross under a open heaven in jesus mighty name we pray amen i like the way the guitar sound on that man and kick that right there man Tell them, man. Uh. Hey. Hey. Backwards on the block this year. No more nine to five on the clock this year. DJs 
they gon' rock this year Haters gon' hate what we got this year I'm on the ground about to drop this year See me in the streets, well I'm not this year uh, They can't stop this year Calculate north, south, we got this year This a man who walks not with the wicked But walks in the way you got, man, come get it That's what he told me right before I tried to quit it It blessed me so, so to you I'm gon' spit it hey, I'm an independent mind, yes I like it my way Always on that grind, but he said that's not how I play Cause you can't gain if you can't maintain His righteousness, his laws, it's all the same So drink from his fountain, let it fill your cup Watch your life change, it'll fill you up I'm sitting so high, I can't deny His favor's on me, feel like I can fly Got the authority, wickedness get off of me Devil get under my feet, I don't claim no defeat All I do is win, 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 got the victory I got that H-O-L-Y mentality City backwards on the block this year No more nine to five on the clock this year DJs ain't gon' rock this year Haters gon' hate what we got me this year I'm on the ground about to drop this year See me in the streets when I'm not this year uh, They can't stop this year Cacolot, North, South, we got this year Girls ain't on my level, huh? man stop and listen What you call the devil, I call a condition Flat tire devil, use a liar, what you missing? You keep exchanging, I call a tradition trade Every Sunday, yeah it's fun day Then on Monday, we go back to slaves And I'm thinking, man what you thinking? Yeah the ship is sinking, let it tank and tell it bye bye Please don't cry, walk in my jaw Tell my boss I, get away man The Lord's made a way, going to my future now I can't stay, entrepreneur Watch how I maneuver at the traffic light They saying, who are you, bruh? I'm a student of the most high And we do it most loud Cause we do it so right And we do it all night Cause the backwards on the block this year No more nine to five on the clock this year DJs ain't gon' rock this year Haters gon' hate what we got in this year I'm on my grind about to drop this year See me in the streets well, I'm not this year uh, They can't stop this year Cacolot, North, South, we got